guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a quick little video on this breaking news because we just got official confirmation from the CW that, in fact, all our DC TV shows are coming back and they've all been renewed. So, that is extremely exciting. We're going to be breaking it down, talking about everything that was said. And so, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So they were doing a sort of press association tour as they do quite a lot of the time in order to get, you know, sponsors and advertisers for the CW. And so the network president, Mark Pedowitz, who's in charge, everyone knows that by now, he has confirmed that, in fact, they have confirmed that they are, in fact, renewing all the DC TV shows, including the 8th season for Arrow, the 5th season for Supergirl and Legends, and a 6th season for The Flash and a 3rd season for Black Lightning. So, this is a quote from what he said. This season, we expanded our primetime schedule to 6 nights with the addition of Sunday, which has been an unqualified success for the network. In addition to growing our schedule across the week, we also continue to add more year-round programming. The early renewal of the signature CW series gives us a head start of laying out the 2019 and 2020 season and this is just the beginning. These shows provide a strong foundation for our multi-platform programming strategy and we look forward to bringing on this with even more returning and new shows as we approach the May upfront. So that's where they in fact announce a few of these new shows that they plan to do. Also you have to remember recently they confirmed the CW have greenlit a Batwoman pilot and if that's all good we're gonna get a series and so that's gonna be really exciting but anyway the main thing to focus on we got the Flash and Supergirl coming back also Arrow and Legends and I know I haven't been making as many Arrow and Legends videos right now I've been extremely busy and I think after tomorrow I'm going to be all good for a little while and I'll be back to making lots of more consistent videos. I actually haven't caught up with Arrow at this point and I'm one episode behind on Legends and I'm I think two episodes behind on Arrow. I'm just a little bit behind. I have had no time really at all so I'm sorry about that. But anyway let's talk about this. So we got The Flash returning for season 6 which is incredible and in fact Season 6 is a big number, that is very big, and obviously I didn't have any doubts about this, but, you know, some people throughout the year are being skeptics, are like, oh, you know, some people don't like this season, some people don't like this bit, or whatever, but no, they, all these DC TV shows pull in the highest numbers on the CW, they are not going to want to just get rid of it, like, what's the point, they love these shows, they show a real sort of passion for it, especially Mark Pedowitz and whoever else is in charge of him, including some of the showrunners. Yes, of course, some of us believe that maybe some showrunners should go, maybe they should bring in some new people, or maybe there were older people that were better, and that's all just our personal opinions, but we can all agree, if we get more seasons, the better. We all want that. No one, even if you don't like, say, uh, Legends this season or something like that, just for instance, you don't want Legends to be cancelled. Or, same thing, say you don't like The Flash this season or Arrow this season, you don't want it to be cancelled because it could be good next season for you, and we all want that, and it would be devastating if any of them went, if I'm totally honest. And so it's great to see that a uh, smaller show like Black Lightning is coming back. I'm still a bit behind on Black Lightning as well. You know, I need to catch up on so many shows right now, so yeah, I'm just slacking behind at the moment. But I'm always keeping up with The Flash and Supergirl because they're my favourites and they're sort of my main focus. Although I do want to do more Arrow and Legends, but it's just when I get caught up again and that should be sometime in the next week or so. So I look forward to that. But anyway, so The Flash is returning for Season 6, Supergirl returning for Season 5. That is a big number. And you know what that means, season 5, that is in fact meaning Supergirl is going to hit 100 episodes. They're going to hit that syndication mark, if you didn't know what that is. Essentially, when the show ends, or when a show on TV ends, and it has 100 episodes, it sort of gets a benefit of some sorts, and uh, TV shows like to do that. Like, if you remember Gotham recently, they're on their last season, 
um, they are just expanding to try and get the 100 episodes, so something in regards to distribution after. But anyway, 100 episodes, that's crazy, Supergirl's gonna hit it, and so is Legends of Tomorrow, but I don't know if Legends actually is going to hit it this season, because remember, they have smaller seasons, so I have a feeling it may be season 6, you would have to check the sort of maths on that, but I don't know right now, but definitely Supergirl is hitting that mark, and it leaves us with the question, what's going to be happening? You know, I presumed all these shows were returning, because we have Crisis on Infinite Earths, if Legends went, or if Arrow went, for instance, that would cut down on so many sort of possibilities of making this crossover the biggest event that's ever happened on the CW in the Arrowverse. And I think that would have been a massive shame. So I sort of had no doubt. And I know they love these shows. And so this means that with Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl and Legends. And maybe Black Lightning joining in. But with them all returning. We're going to get this massive crossover. Probably Batwoman in there. Like loads of new characters. Maybe we get Alexander Luthor. And we see the Anti-Monitor for the first time. And see all these different things that's very exciting but it's just great to see that they're back but what in regards to next season could happen in regards to the flash okay so if we're going crisis on infinite earths in the crossover i'm guessing from what happens in the comics something could twist on that maybe jay garrick dies or someone along the lines maybe it's wally west but it's going to have ramifications and i think as they've been teasing it's all going to lead up to Crisis and there's going to be major effects, so I think that would be very interesting in regards to The Flash. But who could be the villain? I think with what they teased last episode, I think Red Death would be an awesome villain. I think everyone would be up for that. He's really good. I've only read him in a few issues in Dark Knight's Metal, but nevertheless, I mean to catch up. And I highly recommend you at least go read it because a lot of people are big fans and I like what I saw so far from him and I think it will be very interesting and I want a speedster villain again I really do miss them because I think uh, I didn't really like that much I wasn't a fan Cicada is good I, I've been liking Cicada a lot more than the Thinker I'll put it at that I think the only thing that's a bit annoying about Cicada is the fact that he keeps on jumping off into the air just every episode it's a bit silly at points but I, I do like him overall and so in regards to Supergirl what could happen so we know is obviously going to be involved in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Supergirl dies in that, so does Superman return? And does Superman die instead of Supergirl? That would be interesting. Are we seeing, you know, Power Girl in Crisis on Infinite Earths? I think that would be very interesting. Or maybe the Earth 2 version of Superman that is massive in Crisis on Infinite Earths in the comics? So, there is tons of possibilities, but in regards to Supergirl as a show and it going into its fifth season obviously like i said it's in that hundredth episode mark is amazing but what villain i think with how this season is going it seems to be kind of more grounded although we're you know building up to red daughter i think they can try something different and i think they will because season five seems to be or season four seems to be as well sort of the mark in these shows where they actually sort of expand into these different, you know, realms and different areas. And so I, I believe they could do something really interesting, get a proper Supergirl villain rather than a Superman storyline or a Superman villain. Like, I don't really need Lex Luthor. I know we're getting him, that's alright, but I don't care for him in regards to being in Supergirl. You know, when he's in Superman, when he's facing Superman, I care for that because I want Supergirl to go in Supergirl villains because we've seen Lex Luthor so many times and it's a bit boring after a while. It's like seeing Doomsday pop up all the time, which is kind of a bit annoying and grating at times. Yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity to sort of expand. We know that in season 5, Wynn's going to be returning, so is the Legion returning, is mon going to return? You know, everyone wants that at this point, so do I. I am just really waiting for that return. And also, you know, is Imra going to return? I think that'd be interesting. All these different characters, who are they going to introduce? Maybe it's more Legion focused. I would really like that a lot. And maybe it's less politically focused. I've been liking Agent Liberty and stuff, but it has to be said. I do prefer season three. 
I prefer season 1 and 2 compared to season 4. Yes, I didn't like the first two episodes of season 4, but since then, I've been really, really liking Supergirl, and I've been very impressed. So, I think if they go more into the sort of alien, outer world, space stuff, in regards to rain, that was just insane. I love that so much. So, I really do hope we go back to that. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really sorry for my freaking croaky voice. Yeah, I can barely speak at the moment, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.